I'm bringing you an unboxing today from Angie's Crafting with Diamonds on YouTube and Instagram. Today we're going to be unboxing this Diamond Art, Clip, Art Club kit called The Life of Tigers by Marcia Becker. I hope that's how you say her name. Uh, I hope I have it right. This is a square kit and it is 55.8 uh, centimeters by 70.7 .7 centimeters or 22 by 28 inches in square. So I hope everybody's having a good day and you find this interesting and helpful. This is my new YouTube channel. So if you enjoy what you see and want to see more, please like and subscribe. I am really excited about this kit simply because I absolutely love the image. I love abstract art and color. And I have a feeling, uh, I didn't watch any preliminary unboxing for this or any other sneak peek. So I have a feeling this is going to fulfill some of the things that I like, including major color. So let's see. Let's open it and find out. Of course, I should say all the instructions are on the back and you can see there's a code here for discounts. There's discounts inside and outside and every which way and on some people's channels. You don't want to leave that out in case you're new to diamond painting. Myself, I've been diamond painting since January 2022 and I've learned a lot and my channel is been created for fun and for sharing with others. In your Diamond Art Club kit, you get a really nice sticker. Personally, I like to collect these. Some people like to put it on the end of their box for storage. That is just such a pretty image. Yep. And here's the toolkit that comes in. I'm going to open that later, so I'm going to put it to the side. So I really just want to see what this looks like. And I'm going to try not to rip this dust cover, but I never quite make it. Or I rip it when I put everything back in. So here you can see Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. This definitely makes me feel happy to open these things. Let's see. Oh boy. Look at that, I can tell already. Look at the color in there. I'm gonna pull the middle out first. I'm gonna set the drills to the side for now. I'll just show you that the instructions are here and some more discount codes. How to start with diamond painting for the newbies out there who might run into this video and need that tidbit of information. Also in the kit is this awesome sticker sheet and this page you can put in a journal or keep. I like it because I put the start date in when I kit it up and it becomes a whip. It keeps me honest with myself when I look back at how many whips I have, as I always have too many. Every time I open something, I wanna kit it up right away. The only uh, reason I don't is because I only have so much storage so if I start buying storage, I'm just gonna have more whips, right? On here are all the codes and colors you need to follow in the kit. This kit has 55 colors and 141 ABs, which are, you know, specialty coated drills with Aurora Borealis coating, which makes it nice and super extra shiny and picks up the colors that's next to. So we'll have a look at those, but look at that art. That is just fantastic. So now we'll take a look at, oh my goodness. Look at this beautiful image. To me, this just what I, does what I call pops. It just pops, pops my brain. It pops off the page. And with Diamond Art Club, they are poured glue, so you can roll it backwards. 
and everything always ends up flattening out easily and on its own. I've never had it where something was maybe folded and didn't fall out properly because it always does. So there we go. That's going to make it a little easier to look at. Look at that. <gasps> That's just so great. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. How am I supposed to hold on, hold off until after Christmas to work on this? Like I, I'm telling you, I'm almost speechless. I absolutely love this art. Thank you, Marishka Becker. Here's the licensing on the kit. It shows you that it is licensed and the size. And there's a little snapshot of the art. And of course, there are two legends, one on the top, one down here on this side. So that matter, no matter which way you turn your canvas, you'll have some way to refer to it. Oh my gosh. Wow, it's amazing. Let's have a look at the drill pack. I like to stand back and just look at the color palette. I used to paint and because of, for health reasons, I can't paint or, or do uh, fine drawing anymore. I have fibromyalgia and my hands can only, and arms can only take so much. So sometimes you'll see me shake. It's not because I'm nervous, it's because uh, I can't help it. Yeah, and this, this uh, packet has the tag on it in case you wanna keep your drills separate. I tried that once and I ended up with a big giant drawer of heavy drills and then I couldn't find what I was looking for and then I wanted to de-stash so I ended up just putting it all back in the box. So now everything I have goes back in the box. Anyway, I'll take a quick look at what's in here. Sorry about the noise. And in order to have this popping contra contrast in here, you either need neutrals or darks. That's what's going to make it pop, right? I know that, and myself included, we're not thrilled with three tens, but they are the darkest of, that is the darkest of the darks. Black is a non-color, does not exist in nature. But in this case, it's an abstract design, so I don't mind the black being in the kit. And it's going to give the impact that we want. Oh, wow. Look at this. So I am not going to read you every, every color. I'm just going to flip through them so you can see the palette. And to see how many bags of 310 there are. One, two, three, four, five bags of 310. And wow, there's our first AB. That is insane. And it's a full bag. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. I love this one. And then we have our other really, really dark. It's like mascara that's black brown. That's what I call it. It's really blacky brown. But it also is going to help the picture to have depth and dimension in the darker areas. As well as help those other colors pop. And we have some pretty pinks. Wow, and some green. Oh my, look at all the colors. What a great palette again. The 726, that is a nice yellow. And the 939 is a super dark navy blue, like a midnight sky. That's just going to be fantastic. I'm going to quickly cut out the AB because we'll be looking for those after. Let's see where they are. Sorry for the crinkling. I will try to go through this quickly so it doesn't last forever. More 939 and more color. Look at that. Absolutely fabulous. And I love 741. It's like, is it yellow or is it orange? Or is it orange yellow? And I have bad humor. I'm a bit of a ham. Anyways, 345. Some nice blues. I think that's going to be up in, in here. I'm wondering what's going to be in the tiger's eye. I'm wondering if I should add crystals into those tiger eyes. 
from my stash of crystals. And here's our next AB, number 130. I got a little excited and ahead of myself to cut it out. Wow, that's going to be great. I'm just going to pull that guy out too without cutting the bag. Two yellow ABs. Nice. We've got some red. That'll be an accent color up here in the corner. That'll be really, really sharp. I can see that. And then down here. And a red AB 107. Oh, couldn't make me happier. Look at the colors. Isn't that just fantastic? I love this one. It's a great AB. Cut it out. And greens for in the floor, the uh, vegetation. More colors, bits of things to add, accents and hues to retain the rendering on the picture. Some really nice purple for the 333. And there's our last AB, a white 141. Standard AB in all kits, but it really gives you. This one really shows you what the um, AB True coating looks like without the impact of the other colors beside it because the white is a blank canvas. Like that. Awesome. And then lastly, we have some more reds, reds and blues. And I think this 995 is in the cat eye. Yeah. And symbol S. So I have, I'm pretty sure I have some square drills in this, crystals in this color that I will be putting in his eyes. Her eyes, their eyes. <laughs> it could be anything. Anyway, fantastic. So this one is the first one, and it's symbol number one over here. And symbol number one is, oh, it's up in these red flowers that are just going to pop. And over here, up here, all spread in this dark red. Oh, and it's right next to the three tens. So that is going to be a real, a really stark contrast. Fantastic. And there's some over in this red flower down here. Oh, that's gorgeous. And the next one is number two, which is 129. And I think this is spread everywhere you can see yellows. Yeah, everywhere in all this vegetation back here and in the tiger's face. You can see it going up in here. And in fact, this looks like it's in combination in this area with the third AB, which is the number three. So they'll be working together and that will be just be Awesome. I can't wait to work that up. And lastly is number four. Where am I going to find some number fours? Oh, that was easy. Right here in the whiskers. That's going to be so pretty. Oh, and I see some more number two ABs down here on this side of the whiskers. Great. Fantastic. I can't wait. So the next thing I need to open is the toolkit in its recyclable bag. Everything that you need to start a diamond painting, if you're new to diamond painting, is in here. Diamond Art Club is good at supplying good quality materials to keep you going, get you going. Oh boy, that's it. In here we have your diamond painting pen and squishy. So, and that is a nice one too. I think it has, it has glitter in it. Little bits of glitter. Might be hard to see. It's nighttime here, so. Also included in here are some multi-placers, a four and seven. And they go on the end of your pen so that you can do multiple drills in different areas. I would say this kit is medium to light confetti because there are areas where you could actually use a multi-placer but it's not so heavy confetti that you would compare it to a diamond painting deutschland kit or 
some of the heavier confetti kits like uh, Don Dark Club has, which is uh, Chuck Pinson's. They're quite famous for being confetti heavy. Okay, great. Oh, look at the cover minder. These are randomly placed, but it's a little happy pink cloud. That is so sweet. That is so cute. I'm gonna put them there. We don't lose her, her or them. And then we have diamond painting wax. There should be more than enough wax in here with two, two, uh, two heart shapes. Don't forget to take the plastic off before you try and fill your pen. And as always there, or I guess always is the last six months, they include a roll of washi tape for marking off your canvas or the edges to prevent uh, lint and things from getting into the, the slight over printing of the, or placement of the glue. So that's nice. And sometimes it's really pretty. This one's looking like it blends in with the kit. And we also have a diamond painting tray with a stopper. And I love this because it has glitter in it. I use these trays all the time. Great. We have some baggies that you can kit up with or whatever you need baggies for, like storing spare drills. And lastly, we have some really great tweezers that come with this bare kit. Just be careful because they are super sharp. Well, you guys, I am absolutely thrilled with this kit. I cannot wait. I'm telling you, I cannot wait. I might try and pan the camera up. Or maybe I should try and turn this sideways. Let's show up better. Oh, that's better. Look at that. I'll move the camera up a little so you can see it. So if you like what you see, I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel. And I hope to see you again. Happy painting. Bye.